I'm Stella and in today's video I wanted to bring a tag that I've been seeing in the makeup community and bring it to the perfume uh, world. Uh, basically the premise of the tag is if you had $1,000 or in my case euros, what would you put in your imaginary shopping basket? So let's do that. I chose to shop from allbeauty.com and I am no, in no way affiliated with this website but I chose it because they did have a lot of deals and interesting perfumes that I want to try and also they had in stock some uh, old favorites that I would like to repurchase. So I thought that okay let's go and put make a wish list and then put everything I want in the basket and see what uh, it came up to. So I have it here with me. Uh, I will be popping the pictures of the perfumes and the notes on the side uh, so that I don't have to go through each perfume's notes because we're going to be here until midnight and nobody wants that. So let's begin. Right off the bat, I already have bad news for me. Uh, I had in my basket Mancera Holidays and I was kind of actually planning to purchase the perfume because I found a super good deal and I've heard very good things about it here on YouTube, how it's this super beautiful, exotic, perfect for holidays, long lasting, beautiful, beautiful perfume. And I was like, well, um, I will try it first chance I get. And I saw it here, put it in the basket and now I see it's gone and it's only been less than 24 hours so now I don't know what to do with my life but I keep it here in the basket just in case guys uh, if I will be monitoring this one and when it's back I will be purchasing it because you know when something disappears now I want it more next in my imaginary basket I have Cinema by Yves Saint Laurent and I found a great deal on this perfume I've had several bottles in the past and I really really love it it's warm soft sweet but not cloying it's so beautiful for me and um, I want to get a bottle from it but I know at some point I thought it was discontinued and it was very hard to find anywhere and now that I saw it I definitely have it in my basket I so hope that it's not gone after I film this video I will have to purchase it so yeah fingers crossed on that one Next up, I have Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. I've tested this a couple times in store and I'm intrigued by it. I especially uh, interested in the fact that it has a pistachio note. So for me, that's kind of different and um, I definitely want to test it. Uh, they do have a good deal on this one. So I kind of have it in my shopping cart as well. And it was supposed to be purchased together with Monsera. I seem to be on this like uh, exotic uh, holiday kind of scent kick and um, I'm really still angry about the Monsera guys. I don't know what to do. But yeah, this one I will have to purchase it <laughs> as soon as possible as well so it doesn't disappear. Um, I mean, it's available everywhere, but uh, this price point is kind of very good. So yeah, that one is the one to watch as well. Next up, I have Shalimar uh, Eau de Toilette version. Um, very good deals. I mean, this is nothing new. Everyone knows Shalimar. I do have uh, mixed feelings about it, but because it's such a classic and it's such a, um, you know, perfume with history and it's still kind of alluring to me. I'm trying to make myself love it. It does have some notes that I am drawn to. I do like Orientals. So I like the vanilla lemony vibe that it's got. So I will kind of buy a bottle just for myself to sniff it and make myself love it. I'm, I really love the bottle as well. So for the price, I think why not? Next up, I have Hermes uh, Ambre de Marveille. I really, really um, drawn to this perfume. I can't say I love it or I like it per se, but I'm also curious about it. So there is perfumes that you instantly love them and then there are these that kind of you work <laughs> towards loving them and you get to know them more and in the end you either end up loving them or you get rid of them. So this is something I want to explore. I have had a bottle in the past. I, I knew I sold it at some point, but that was many years ago. So I, I want to see how I feel today. Um, I did smell it in store. It was kind of like, hmm, that's interesting. So the price also here is good. So I think why not? Also, we have 1000 imaginary euros. So why not? I've had this next perfume in my wish list for a very long time. For many years, I read a lot of uh, Fragrantica reviews and it's uh, Van Cleef and Arpels uh, Orchid Vanille. And I've heard the best things and the notes are so beautiful. I'm bound to love this perfume. Like on paper, there's everything I want in a fragrance. The only thing that's been stopping me to pull the trigger on this one is that reviews are saying that it's not very long lasting or it's very like close to the skin. So it's kind of, uh, you know, a lot of money for a perfume that barely you can smell it. 
but I'm still keep hearing from left and right very good reviews so very tempted and the price point in this one guys if you have um, wanted to buy this perfume but the price is an issue which it is because it's kind of expensive uh, this is so far the best price that I have seen and I will link all the perfumes that um, I am having in my wish list. Next up, I have another Tom Ford. It's Tobacco Vanille. And um, I've smelled this in store, sprayed it on myself. I do like it. It's not 100% love, but it's a perfume that I like and gravitate towards. This kind of very deep and sweet and you know a bit dark perfume. So this one has a tobacco. So definitely something different and smoky. And I like that. So with my imaginary 1000 euro, I would get it. I don't know if I would get it with real euros, but with imaginary euros, definitely. Another perfume that actually, if it was here, I would get this one instead of a tobacco vanille. It's uh, Vanille Fatale. That one, I sprayed on myself recently and I wore it and it was great. It, it was so strong as well. I could smell it actually more than the perfume that I had sprayed on myself that day. So it was really, really good performance and I really like the smell of it. And it was it's more feminine and vanilla-y than uh, tobacco vanille. So if that was here, I would pick it up instead of tobacco vanille. Another perfume that I have here in my wish list slash basket is uh, Cisle Eau de Soie. And this perfume has certain cold, expensive allure about it. I remember in university, I had a, my English grammar teacher. She was um, wearing this one and I've been chasing her down the corridors asking, what is she wearing? Because it was just so powerful. And her character was also like that. So she was the kind of woman that you don't speak when she's in the room unless she asks you to. So this perfume is like super powerful and <laughs> very, very captivating in a way but it's definitely a serious scent and um, I've been trying to test it I don't know if it suits my personality very well but uh, with imaginary thousand euro definitely would try it out the next perfume I have in my basket is something that I've absolutely never heard smelled or anything but I really like the bottle and the fragrance description on Fragrantica sounded very interesting so it's kind of something I want to test it's a Cartier uh, Must de Cartier Gold. I love this bottle. It's kind of so old time and retro and classy. And uh, the description of the scent also is very alluring to me. Sounds very different than what is today in stores. So I would test it. Also, the price is not bad at all. So I might pick it up just to try it later, you know, uh, down the line. It's not on the top of my want list because I've never smelled it, but it's worth a try, I guess. Cheers, by the way. Uh, wine of the day is Gato Negro. It's actually always Gato Negro because um, it's a wine that I love to buy always. I don't know why I like it and it's kind of like a safe bet for me. So I buy it all the time. The first time I bought it, I bought it solely because of the name. And the bottle, it's got a cat and I have two cats. So I'm a crazy cat lady, definitely. And that's the reason why I bought it. So it's always Gato Negro for me. Cheers. Next up. We have Prada Amber Eau de Perfume Deluxe. It's got a nice um, atomizer pump thingy. <laughs> I bet that's the technical term. I really, I've really drawn to this. I've never had actually um, a bottle that's got an atomizer. So this one, the perfume, I've had three bottles in the past. It's so gorgeous. This perfume screams class, elegance, rich, absolutely love it it's powerful but warm but still you know kind of stays in its own league like you don't mess with this woman i love this perfume very much and in this bottle oh yeah definitely the next perfume i have is alaya paris and this is the nude alaya i haven't smelled any of those three i know there is a blanc ooh, nude and then there is the the black one and i haven't smelled any but i've heard of very good things online about them and I'm definitely uh, curious to try. I picked up this one because it sounded from the notes like something I would like, but I'm not opposed to testing the others as well. So definitely this one in, in the bag. We're getting close to the end, guys. So I have Elisa Le Parfum Essentiel. So yeah, I love Elisa, the original. I have, I don't think I've smelled the Essentiel, but the prices on Elisa on this website are very good. So. If you're curious, I don't think it will hurt the wallet to buy even a 30 mil and test. And I want to try this Essential. I imagine if it's a more, you know, powerful or deeper version with a bit more kick, this kind of 
in my lane but I do love the original one as well I remember smelling it and liking it straight right off the bat thinking that it smells really expensive um, I really like it so I'm curious to try this one imaginary thousand euro and the last one is a complete blind buy as well so it's perfume that I've never really tested or heard about the the brand but I have heard from uh, Demi Rowing here on YouTube that this perfume reminds very much of a Tom Ford fragrance and this one is Armaf Club de Nuit Intense and I'm curious to try it just this is the only reason why it's here because I've heard all the good um, you know recommendations about it and the price is so good so it's 32 33 euros for 1000 oh, the price point is so good on this one as well. It was 33 euro for 105 milliliters. Also the price point can't be beat. It's 33 euro for 105 milliliters. So that's great. I had to say that really slowly because the wine is starting to kick in, I guess. Um, yeah. But guys, this was the last perfume in my basket. Altogether came up uh, a little bit over 1,000 euros. So I have 1,105. I am still kicking myself about the Monsera holidays and I will be monitoring this website to buy it as soon as it appears. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're doing this kind of imaginary shopping, you end up really actually wanting to buy things. And this is the case. Uh, if you want to do this tag, please go ahead and pick uh, your favorite online retailer. Um, I'm tagging everyone who's watching. I would love to see what you guys have in your imaginary shopping carts. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!